Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the lands of Tunis, where we're working on the Sons of Carthage achievement. We actually almost have it. We just need, you know, the coastline down here. And guess what I have claims on? Da -da -da -da. I don't think it's possible to get all of that one more. It's just going to be too much war score to take it all. But what we can do is take Andalusia, which is very important, and maybe Grenada. If I get those two, then I can release uh, Grenada as a vassal. A Sunni vassal, and I can feed them stuff. Just the rest of Iberia. Give it all to them. And I would also like to get Valencia and Alicante for Aragon. And I want to feed Naples as much of Italy as possible. Uh, I could give Corsica to Genoa. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, you know, three base tax. Naval supplies. I mean, it's it's nice land, and his core is going to expire in 150 years. So I would love to get it for him before his core goes away. But it's really not that important. Uh, more more important is just getting the coastline. I want to have all the Mediterranean coastline down here. All this shit. All this shit through Genoa and southern France, Aragon, Grenada, all the way up through all the way up through Portugal. I want Lisbon, man. This shit's so important. It's a freaking estuary and an important center of trade. It's amazingly important. But yeah, we're at war with Spain right now. Ottomans are helping us out. Got some claims. Good, good. We're going to keep on claiming shit. And uh, yeah, that's Spain's army right there. That's all he has. Lost a claim on Cairo. Uh, I'll just reclaim it. Mm -hmm. How much base tax is Cairo? 12 base tax. Look at that. Nice. I like how Naples is up here trying to siege shit, but he's only got one guy. He's only got one guy. That's it. He has one guy. And it's a level 2 fort, so he can't actually break it. But he's trying, right? I mean, the Pope's up here doing his job. I guess the Pope will eventually help him, right? So over here... Spain is just watching us siege his land. That's great. He wants to attack us in Barcelona. Can I get out of the way? 26, 26. Um, maybe? I may not be able to get out of the way. We'll see. So just in case we actually don't get out of the way, let me get one troop. Stay there. And you, same thing. Just one dude. Stay there. And the rest of us will come on down on the 25th. However, we may successfully get out of the way. We'll see. No, nope, we did not get out of the way. Okay. So we're getting attacked on the coast. He rolls a 9. I roll a 3. Uh, this is going to hurt quite a bit. He's got more tactics and uh, about the same morale, but he also has more discipline. Discipline is how much killing power they have. Those bastards. All right. Uh, he did not suffer a river crossing. That's unfortunate. But we are going to outnumber him pretty heavily as the backup troops arrive. And the nice thing here is I will be able to chase him down with one of these armies. And hopefully squish him. That would be amazing. Religious tensions. Uh, unrest in Shendi or local taxes go down for one year. That's fine. Who cares? He's retreating to probably Andalusia. We'll find out. Man, I wish I had offensive for Forced March. That'd be awesome, but I don't. Okay. The mountains are sieging. Beautiful. Now, if he turns south, then we'll know he's going to, like, Grenada or something. Nope. Looks like he's going to Andalusia. Okay, my first guess was correct. Excellent. Now, he does have a good general. It's, well, it's actually not a good general. It's a 2-3. Ah, colonist has arrived in Panama. Nice, nice. If we can connect up this land, that'd be great. That'd be great. I also want to try to get my dudes out of this out of this guy's way over here. Although it looks like he's leaving me alone. I don't know where this stack is going, but I thought he was attacking my army here. He's actually not. I, I don't know what he's doing. Well, let's not sit around and find out. Come over here to Andalusia. 
Venice coalitioned us. That's not good. How about we get relations up with Venice? Because I do believe he likes us. I think he'll leave the coalition. He's one of the nations that had a positive opinion of us just a little bit earlier. Uh, England does not want an alliance. Netherlands does want an alliance. Uh, Brandenburg, that's maybe Denmark? Nah, Denmark's pretty useless. Maybe Sweden? Nah, Russia probably. Yeah, but we've already maxed out relations with Russia. Alright, go top off England, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Man, this guy's fast. He's got maneuver four. Can we get there before the end of the month? I don't think so. No way. Ah, oh, we're gonna be like a week late. Alright, that's fine. So he's gonna get two end of the month bonuses. Means his morale will be somewhere around one, 1.2. Morale starts at 2.0. Wow. Okay. Keep on building those forts, baby. Yeah, I don't know where this army's going. Maybe my capital? No, he's going past. I don't know. You know what? He might be going through the Mamluks into the Ottomans. That'd be hilarious. That would be absolutely hilarious. Hmm. Alright, do we get a... Do, tell me... Please tell me we get, we get a crush here. It would be so good. No, we rolled three and then a one. You gotta roll pretty well if you want to get a crush. You roll terribly. In fact, that's probably about the worst roll you can get. Three, one, four, two. While he's rolling sixes and nines. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. But I'm gonna follow him again. Actually, maybe I should leave him alone. Uh, I think I'll follow him with this guy. So let's take this guy, who's got more morale. And I believe he's going to Asturias. It's hard to tell. You can't really predict where he's going to go. Um, yeah, let's leave two guys here. And then if he ping-pongs again, we'll be ready for him. Yeah, I think he's going to Asturias. Astorias? Astorias? Something like that. Also, can we build some more forts, please? I would like some more level 3 forts. Uh, here. There you go. Maybe here as well. Not so much necessary. Because I don't think we're going to be walking there very much. We'll probably be walking more through here. It's kind of hard to tell, you know? It's just it's just hard to tell. Down here, we're definitely going to want it. Yeah, level threes. Can't do here because we're converting the religion. Okay, well, we'll do that for now. The reason we need those is those are pretty much desert territories. So you kind of need to... Uh... There we go. Yeah, we're going to get there first. He's going to land on our face. Oh, he got there before we did? Fuck you, Spain. Oh, we killed him anyway. <laughs> Alright, squish what's left of his army, and that's pretty much it. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Let's start sieging. He decided to siege Sirt. Out of all the places you could have sieged, you decide to siege Sirt. Okay. Hey, don't let me call you out on your weirdness, but that's kind of weird. Just saying. Oh, shit. Catholic zealots in Aragon. That's because he went religious. Huh. Oh, no, it's because he's trying to convert? No, he's not trying to convert. Just Catholic zealots. All right, we'll have to kill those. Maybe we'll let the Ottomans kill him. That'd be nice. <laughs> Gotcha. So this is going to be our chasing army. It's not a very quick army, but we'll use it anyway. Uh, let's split up. Start some carpet siege here. Um, yeah, just carpet siege. What could possibly go wrong? Ottomans are not giving that over to me. 
They should, but they're not. Interesting. Okay, there goes that army. I wonder how I'm supposed to give it to Aragon if if the Ottomans don't give it to me. I have no idea. Oh, looks like we were kicked out of Panama. We'll just head back. Not a problem. Didn't have enough population when the natives rose. Not a big deal. We'll go back. And Portugal just full of next. Uh, Galicia. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm going to go ahead and fabricate on Galicia. Because why not? Also, let's pay down the Portuguese nationalists one more time. Patriots, whatever. Don't run from me. I bring cookies. Tunisian cookies of joy and happiness. It's actually attacking me. Are you kidding? Okay. Ottomans to the rescue. I guess I'll let these Catholic Zealots win, and then we'll come kill them after the war. There's no real rush to kill them, I don't think. Also, let's go ahead and split up. Start doing some serious carpeting. Oh, I can't do that, though. If he's still recruiting troops, I don't want to carpet. Well, I'll do a little bit. I'll do a half and half, shall we say. I'll do that. It's a compromise. Oh wow, they're about to spawn again. Do we have exhaustion? No. Huh, I wonder why they're so... Up in arms. Yeah, 24% every month. Wow, I have no idea. Wish I could increase the autonomy, but it's impossible. Hmm. And I can't keep... Oh, it looks like we're just going to have rebels. That sucks. The ones in Porto are going to be really annoying. But, whatever. They're annoying in Porto because I can't walk there anymore. When Galicia owned Galicia, I could walk through Galicia to Porto. But now that they don't own Galicia, I can't walk there anymore. And there's no way Portugal's going to give me access. That's just too bad. Oh, Austria, you're so touchy. Alright, let's go top off Francie Pants. Hey, Navarra fell. Good. Let's see if we can uh, kick the Ottomans out of, out of Alicante. That'd be nice. Well, oh. the Portuguese patriots spawned in Porto. Of course they did. 30 of them. Hey, we got the target province. Go us. Hmm. No, he's not handing the siege over to us. Well, we tried.
Where is he going? Looks like he's going to Girona? No, I'm not sure where he's going. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, it went to the Ottomans. Okay. Um, no, not you. God damn it, game. I'm trying to select this army and it selects someone else. Whatever. Yeah, he went to Girona. I wonder why he went to Girona. Don't know. Getting to these rebels is going to be really tough. These are easy, but these guys... Man, I don't know. Sicilian nationalists. You know what we might do is we might just wait for the truce to run out. The truce will be up in uh, 1602, and then we can declare on Portugal again. And that'll let us walk in. I guess. It's one way to do it. God, he is just spamming units. He does not want to stop spamming units. Tech up? No, I don't think so. Oh, God. Dagbon actually sieged up something. Well, congratulations, Dagbon. No one cares, but congratulations. and Castile might go to war. Yeah. Yeah. The English West Indies, or the English, yeah, English West Indies and Caribas just went to war over the province of Barbados. Yep, there's the claim. Interesting. And I think I need to roll for another... I think I need another Conquistador. As much as I want another Explorer, I think the Conquistador is more important. 3-1. Eh, Better than nothing, but no nothing to write home about. He's got Maneuver 3. He's not bad, he's just not very good. Oh, there we go. The Ottomans handed this shit over, finally. So I'll hand this over to Aragon. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to give it to him, but I'll at least hand it over. This stuff, of course, goes to Naples. Ah. Uh. Panama, how am I supposed to keep you going, man? I can't really put troops there. Well, I could if I recruit them here. Eh, I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like recruiting troops. I just want my colony down there, that's all. Oh, finished a bunch of forts, very nice. Uh, shall we build some more? Probably. What's the supply limit down here? 29. 29. That's probably good enough, really. Alright, we'll leave them at level 3s for now. Now, uh, what about temples? Well, we got all the coastal temples. We'll probably want some more. The nice thing about temples is the next level, the courthouse, Local unrest minus one. That's so powerful, especially in provinces that are not your main culture. Even if they're accepted cultures, they may not be accepted cultures, you know, a few years down the road. And if they become unaccepted, having this local unrest minus one is really, really beneficial. Uh, yeah, like we accept Egyptian and Tunisian, but we don't accept Algerian anymore. So let's build them in the Algerian provinces.
Oh, we're broke. <laughs> you burn through money quack. You burn through money fast when you're when you're doing buildings. Yeah, I don't know why Spain's down here sieging up this land that doesn't matter to us, but I guess he's got nothing better to do. Okay, we've topped off France, we've topped off England. Ottomans still love us. Russia could use a little bit of a hand job. Come on, Russia. Come over here and get your hand job. Bohemia needs a hug. Okay. Yeah, that heat map is kind of worrying, man. Like, I'm genuinely consider I'm genu genuinely concerned that Austria will join the coalition against us after this war. I don't know how to stop that, you know? We have 38 aggressive expansion. It'd take 10 years for that to go away. That's a long time. That is a long time. There you go. Naj is independent. This is exactly what I expected to happen. So the next time we declare on the Mamluks, which will be whenever we want, uh, we're also going to declare on Naj at the same... Actually, I can probably just peacefully vassalize. Hey, I can just peacefully vassalize him. Well, that's even easier. Alright, well, let's get relations up with you then. Because he's got cores to feed, right? Yep, there you go. I mean, it's not a ton. But he is the primary culture... I mean, he is the primary nation for Bedouin culture. And this entire peninsula is Bedouin culture. See? Bedouin. Everything. So we can feed him all of that quite comfortably. I think that's fantastic. We should probably feed him all of that land and just cock block the Ottomans. Uh, do we finish another siege? Yeah, Cordoba. Okay. Like Dagoba, but not. Excellence. Now, we could use this as an opportunity to grab some of Spain's colonies, but, uh, I mean, they're cheap. They're relatively cheap because he considers them overseas provinces. They're 75% autonomy, so they're not that expensive to take in the peace deal. Oh, I need to kill this guy before they finish. Uh, but, I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? There goes Gibraltar. You know what? Why don't we group up and kill this stack before he finishes the siege? The Porto? There's no way I'm going to get to Porto. But I can definitely get to Algarve. Let's get to Algarve. Francis at war with Brandenburg. Oh, nice. That's fantastic. Uh, let me see the war from Francis' side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, fuck you, France. Although I am scared of Austria, too. I'd probably be more scared of France than I am of Austria. So it's nice. Uh, France is fighting the Emperor and... Wait, is that the Emperor? No, Bohemia is the emperor. So Bohemia is not in the war. But Austria and Brandenburg at the same time. That's no slouch. In fact, this could be a good opportunity for the Netherlands to get some land from France or Austria. Or both. It would be amazing. Alright, Nodge, let's get you vassalized, dude. When Porto falls, we're going to get a timer. Oh, defect to Galicia. There is no Galicia. Galicia doesn't exist, game. I think they mean defect to Portugal, but yeah. Uh, when he finishes the Siege of Porto, because we can't really get there. When he finishes the Siege of Porto, we'll have a timer here, basically, until he wins. And then Portugal will get the land back. So hopefully... Hopefully, our truce with Portugal will end before then. Eight years. I don't know. We'll see. Eight years is a long time. But hopefully, our truce will end. And we'll be able to 
uh, declare war on Portugal sooner rather than later. The alternative is we could build like another 30 transports and just dump 40 troops on that, but I mean, we might have to. I don't really see a way around that. Oh, what we could do. Oh, yeah, what we could do is let him finish his siege and then he'll just wander away. He'll wander through Portugal and then he'll come siege like Alentejo. That, that'll be fine. Oh wow, the Ottomans are actually going to come fight them for me, so I don't have to. That's beautiful. Oh, no. I lied. Also, did that say our navy is under attack? It sure did. Spain is attacking us with two ships. Alright, Spain, show me what you got. You got crushed, that's what you got. Dumbass. What's up, Rebels? How's it hanging? So what's gonna happen here is... Oh, someone westernized. What's gonna happen here is these guys will finish their siege, and then they'll eventually wander down here to Alenteo. So we'll just kill them down here, and then we'll unsiege it. That's fine. Rebels dead. Nice. You know what I should do is dump some troops over here and siege Corsica. I probably don't have to worry about this area because I can't take it all in one war anyway. I, I just want to take like, you know, one or two. Uh, same thing over here, I just want to take one or two. The main focus for me right now is this coastline. Oh, we got Madrid. Yay! Also, we have an extra diplomat. What should I do? Uh, I could top off the Ottomans, could top off Austria. Let's go top off Austria. Yeah. Okay, there they go. So he's going to move probably to Elentejo. Actually, what I can do is split my troops in half. And then he'll just wander into either one of these stacks. So what's the timer say on how long before they succeed? Um, 90 months. Why can't it just say, like, X years and X months? 90 divided by 12? I don't know. 7 years? Something like that? Something like that. Yep, all of Austria's lands up here are all flipping away. Uh, one just flips. This one just flips to uh, Friesland, and this one just flipped to Trier. Stable government. Lose prestige. That's better than losing points, that's for sure. Yep, Trier just sold the land to the Netherlands. Netherlands feeling strong. Good job, Netherlands. You still want an alliance? Yeah, hell yeah, you do. I think Netherlands could be a good ally. It's kind of hard to say. It's a little early, but he could be a really good ally. Alright, I'm going to grab our non-trade ships. Like so. Put you guys back on Sevilla, and then the non-trade ships are going to blockade. Uh, not over here, but over here. I want this to go along at a, at a good clip. Actually, what I should do is go kill Corsica's army. Let's go kill Corsica's army. What am I talking about? Poor Spain. Poor, poor Spain. What is he up to anyway? 
We can get 20 more points for holding on to the war goal. That would take a long time, though. A real long time. We don't really have any points from battles, do we? Nah, the battles just wasn't many battles. Alright, group up. Let me... St yeah, you can have that. Get on the boats, and let's go kill these morons. You know, I'd be willing to bet that the Ottomans will go siege a lot of this land down here in Africa. I hope they do, then I can just demand it in the peace deal. I might want to go kill this army. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. Why is Korska down here? I don't know. Ah, uh, nudged. Yeah, he'll definitely peacefully vassalize. Uh, what else do I want to do down here? Well, they're all Coptic, so I can't do that. Can't really vassalize them. Probably just fabricate on these guys. Yeah, okay. No matter how much the Spaniards siege up shit down here, it just doesn't matter. I mean, they're giving me a tiny bit of war exhaustion. Not much. Alright, we're about to arrive over here. There we go. That was quick. And now we're going to crush this guy's face. He's probably sitting here like, yeah, I did a good job, didn't I, Spain? I'm a good ally. I'm the best ally. Oh, no, I'm dead. Yeah. That's how it goes, man. You know that. Russia has sent a warning to Sweden. Okay. Why not? Transfer to Naples. There you go. Oh, we converted Shendi. How nice. Alan Tejo. We can convert Alan Tejo. Let's do it. I love that sound. Oh wow, Naples built a second troop. And Naples strunk. Naples two soldiers. Whoa. Naples OP. Please nerf. Alright, we've maxed relations with Venice. And uh, he might even take an alliance after this war. That's like the easiest way to get them out of a coalition is just to take an alliance. But it looks like it's not going to be necessary. I mean, he's at plus 67. That should kick him out of the coalition range. And Austria is back into the positives. That that means he cannot even coalition us. At least at the moment, he can't. Hmm. I'm surprised these troops aren't moving. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but it is surprising that they're stagnant. Russia has fully westernized. That's a scary thought. That is a very scary thought. Are you sure you don't want an alliance, dude? Nah, he's cool. He don't want no alliance. Well, I tell you what, Russia. You ever change your mind, I mean, you and I would be, you know, fast friends. Yeah, they're not even, they're not moving, like they're not walking, and they're not teleporting anywhere either, which is strange. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's top off El Ottoman.
Now we're going to get a bunch of ticking war score. So the war score we currently have is not a problem. Oh wow, look at Austria just getting creamed by France. In the mountains. Yeah. Oh my god. France wrecked them. You're scary, France. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> Savoie's decided, you know what? Fighting Genoa's boring. I'm gonna fight you guys. Woo! Oh. And uh, the Ottomans are killing my vassal's rebels for him. Thank you, Ottomans. That's quite considerate. Ottomans, you're the best. Yep, more land is defecting away from Austria because he has no army to put up there. Found some sugar. Nice. Dow, 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 dow. Oh no, Ottomans are losing a battle to Savoie. No! I mean, it's okay. Ah, oh, they might not even lose. They got back up on the way. Now they lost. No! It's fine. Now this is not fine. These rebels are kind of annoying. They need to go away. Our Grand Captain has died. I wonder if I can find someone to replace you. Manpower, reinforce, and force limits. Oh, balls. Can I afford 10 ducats a month? I can, but I don't need to because I'm still ahead on tech. Yeah. Tempted to get the level 2, but while we're ahead, I don't want to. Actually, are we still ahead? Yeah, we're still ahead. Okay, looks like they have dispatched this Savoyard army. Oh, shit, France has embargoed us. Well, that's not very nice of you, France. What's your mission these days? An ex Genoa. He still has that crappy mission to annex my vassal. How about you don't do that, France? How about you don't annex my vassal, you son of a bitch? We're at 65 war score. How much more ticking war score can we get? We can get another 16. So this will bump up to 82, which should allow us to do pretty much 100% war score peace deal. That's nice. But I should come down here and try to kill this army. This army's pissing me off. And this one, too. This one even more. Ah, good. Corsica fell. Well, give it to Genoa. I don't know if we're actually going to take it, but eh, we'll see. How much time we got on the Rebels? Oh, we have a long time. 77 months. We have, like, forever. We do have two free Diplomats, though. Let's keep fabricating on Darfur. Because his ally is crap. And maybe we'll fabricate on his ally, too. Why not? I love you both. So much. That I'm going to hug you and squeeze you to death. But it'll be fun. A fun death. A happy death. Wow, we haven't even made any progress on this siege. That sucks. We're blockading the port and everything. We're not making any progress on the siege at all. Wow. Huh, Shamar wants to be a vassal as well. Do you just all want to be vassals or something? I mean, is that your thing? No, Hedges doesn't. No, Ma doesn't even like me. He's like, no, we can't vassalize, because you suck. It's tempting to click that tech up button, but no, we're not going to do it. Oh, there you go. Yep, Ferrara just gave uh, Provence back to Provence. Oh, wait, no. Lorraine gave Provence to Provence. Oh, so Ferrara's land... Provence flipped to Lorraine, and Lorraine can't core it, so he sold it back to Provence. It's Provence's core, so yeah, it's fair. Very fair. Quite fair. Indeed.
Yeah, we're making like no progress on this siege. And he does have level one siege, so he should be okay. Eh. Hmm. Ottomans are actually up here blockading. What if they're taking attrition there? No, that's right, they don't. The AI navies do not take attrition. It's a little awkward. You gotta let that sink in just for a minute. AI navies do not take attrition. Ever. So they can sail around the globe a hundred million times and never lose a boat. Enclave of infidels. Do I need piety? I do not. Alright. We'll get our piety back from other events, but for now that's nice. Just get some quick cash. Thankfully, these rebels have not progressed very quickly in Naples. Actually, it probably doesn't matter. I don't think we can even get Naples back. Uh, it probably costs too much in the peace deal. But we'll see. Alright, let's go full speed, because I think we're pretty much done. Pretty much. I would love to peace out during this episode. May not be possible, but we'll take a look and see what is offered. There goes Sardinia. Wow, that was quick. We must have got it on like, one of the first attempts. Jufra. Ah, oh, down there. Okay. Not a problem. Alright, so back on the boat with you. We'll go kill this guy first, because he's annoying. And then we'll turn around and kill these guys. How's our exhaustion? It's actually past 2.0. Wow. Two ha ha. Ha ha. Or something. Claim against Ethiopia. Yes, of course. Might as well split up and blockade both. They're coastal. Ah, shit. Naples fell. Damn it. So we can't get that in the peace deal. Hmm. That's okay. Man, France hates us so much. Ooh. Oh, Austria joined a war against Russia. Wow. What is this? Bohemian Conquest of Potsdam. So Bohemia has declared war on Potsdam. Potsdam? There. So Bohemia declared on Brandenburg. Brandenburg is allied to Austria. And he's currently winning a war against France. Look at that. They're winning the war against France by 41. Wow. But Bohemia feels confident with his Russian ally, and he should. Bohemia's got good allies. Look at that shit. Sweden, the Hansa, the Palatinate, Russia, Ulm. He has almighty Ulm as his ally. Yeah, they're unstoppable. Unfucking stoppable. Alright, well, let's see what kind of peace deal we can finagle. Oh, look, he'll take a white piece. Big surprise. All right, let's give these two to my vassal, Naples. It's 11 war score. Let's give these two to Aragon. 37, 56 war score. I want this myself, and I want Grenada to release Grenada. There you go. So that's the peace deal I want. 
what else can we get? And, oh my god, this is going to cause a massive coalition. Woo! Holy baby, that's going to be a big coalition. Oh, right, Corsica. There you go, 99 war score. Done and done. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Because I want war reparations. Oh, baby, that is a lot of cash. This steals money from Spain and gives it directly to us. That's important to do. So we'll do Corsica some other time. Sorry, Genoa. I'm <laughs> not really sorry. All right. I'll take a little bit of cash. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, Naples, you're so happy. So these rebels will probably have to kill them, but I do want them to succeed. That way we can just go to war with Sicily to keep feeding our vassal. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Aragon's so fucking happy. All right, let's go ahead and release Grenada. I th think I'll keep Andalusia. It's tempting to give it to Grenada. I, I'm, let's go ahead and release Grenada first. and we'll talk about it in a second here. Uh, Grenada, 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 Grenada. There it is. Okay. And of course he releases as Sunni. Which is fantastic. So it's tempting to give this to Grenada. That means I don't have to core it. I would save... Actually, that's cheap. 65 points. That is cheap. It's tempting to give it to Grenada. I wouldn't have to core it. But... It's an important center of trade, and it's an estuary. It is the most important province on this trade node. That and Lisbon are the two most important. So I'm probably just going to keep it for the trade power alone. Because, yeah, I'll keep it. That's a lot of money. I can't pass that up. All right. And that's going to do it for this really long episode. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I have been Shen. You have been you. The war with Spain is over. We fed Naples, we fed Aragon, and we have released Grenada. Good times. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.